Let's get to work with Apache and Svelte. I will show you how easy it is. In this case, it's PHP Apache. But if you look down in the video description, you will find you will find the video in which I show you how to do Node.js with Svelte. So we combine them. And the need for this is because Svelte is running in one port, 5000. If you run npm run dev and Apache is running in pod 80 and you will have the cross domain issue. So it's hard to share cookies or it's impossible to share quick cookies between the two of them or local storage. So let's get started. I wish you to start the Apache server. It's up and running and make sure that you go to the default folder where you have your PHP files where you serve the PHP files. In my case, it's htdocs and it's empty now. So we'll go to VS Code. I will open that folder, which is htdocs. If you have a subfolder, you will have to open the subfolder. And then I will just make sure that htdocs is selected here. So right now this folder is empty. Let's open the terminal. And we are going to install Svelte right away. So npx digit svelte.js for the slash template. And since I want this to be downloaded on the, this directory, I just do a dot. In the video description, you will find the exact same tutorial for Node.js. This is for Apache. So once we have downloaded, let's install it. And the last step is to run it. So npm run dev. Up to this point, what we're doing is we're running Svelte as pure Svelte. So you can see it's running on port 5000, but that's not what we want. We want to run no J uh, sorry, PHP combined with Svelte. So what we do is we can go to the public and we will find the index page. Let's open this, but not via the Svelte port localhost. Let's open it as a normal page via localhost using Apache. So to do that, we go to the browser and then when we point to localhost, you will see that you get all this displayed. Let's go to public. And now we are pointing to the index page. So you can see it right here, the index page. Now this index page is not being served correctly because we're not seeing the welcome message for Svelte. But we don't see it because over here, these links are not being pointed correctly. So the only thing you need to do is make sure that in each of these hrefs, you put HTTP column forward slash forward slash localhost and then you point to the Svelte port which is 5000. You do the exact same thing for the global CSS, for the build bundle CSS and for the build bundle JS. Let's save it and let's check the browser when we reload. Now we have a fully working Svelte applic application with PHP. So to demonstrate this, I will go to the index page and I will rename it to .php. I will save and I am not going to reload the browser. Now I'll do it and this is still working. So let's check if this is true or not. Instead of saying hello world, I will do it in the app of this belt. This is the entry point. Here we have hello world. I will go to the main.js too, and this world is coming from here. So I will just put a question mark. I'm just doing this as a test so you can see how this gets working together. I will save it. In the app of this world, instead of saying hello, I will just write subscribe, and this name will be the question mark. You can see the name there. Save it, save it, and as soon as I save, we get this reloaded automatically. 
So I don't need this, for example, save it, flip to the browser, and it is reloaded. So I have the full power of Svelte with PHP combined, and I do not need to reload the page manually. It gets reloaded automatically. So if I want to create, for example, a component, I will go ahead and create a new file. Let's call it users.svelte. And I will just create a simple script tag. And this is going to be a plain component. So it's just going to be a section. And I am going to close the section. We also have the style, but I'm not going to use that because it's not part of this short tutorial. But if in this section I had, for example, the word users, and I want to use this, I can just go to the app.svelte and I'm going to import users from, and then I will just import it from users.svelte. I'm going to call it right after the subscribe, so I don't want this line anymore. So I just say users, like so. Save it. Without reloading the page, I will just go to the browser now. And now it says users. So in this very short tutorial, I show you how you hook Apache with PHP to Svelte. And the trick is quite simple. You just have to prepend this in front of these lines, line number 9, 10, 11, and 13. I hope you like the video, and I obviously hope that you will subscribe. Thank you.